Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, Silver Moon Tarot. Today I'm doing a general collective reading. Um, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Uh, the roles can be reversed, could be you, someone around you. Um, the message doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Alright, let's get started. Also, if you're new, thank you for joining. If you like my channel and this message resonates, hit that subscribe button in the right corner. My returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love and continued support. Let's get started. What's coming towards Gemini? Miracles. This is the first time that I have pulled this card out of the deck ever. Um, I'm really excited. Miracles. Believe in miracles. The unknown is going to come in and bless you in some way. With forgiveness. So maybe in forgiving, having that energy, being in the energy of forgiveness, it allows miracle, miracles to, to come into your life. Um, or someone... <laughs> Someone thinks it'll be a miracle if you forgive them. That's what else I'm seeing right here too. So I'm gonna further clarify on this. Um, more cards I pulled here. Intention, focus, and playfulness. I'm gonna clarify this forgiveness and miracles over here so we can just get a better idea of what we're dealing with. miracles and forgiveness yep this is somebody from the past this is somebody from the past that did you wrong they were really shady and now they're they look like they're they're poor, they're broke. They have no money now. They did something shady with money. Somebody did something shady with money. I mean, this person, they did something nasty. Here, clarify more, please. Yeah, they were giving you to third parties and promising them new beginnings. I see. It looks like strange. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a miracle if you forgive this person. I don't blame you. They did something very, very nasty. We'll just click on this one. Yeah, a lot of you are wanting, you're focusing and it's your intention to go off on a trip and have fun. You don't care about the situation over here. You're like, I'm ready to go. It's time to play. I want to go and visit some new places, do things I haven't done. Um, your main focus is on your happiness is what I'm seeing here. more messages it 
insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. With Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. Yeah, there's somebody coming towards you with a lot of passion. And a lot of, they're going to have a lot of love for you. This past person might try to come in and sabotage your new relationship. Spirit, tell me more for Gemini. Someone who knows what they are. Yeah, you've got a purpose. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. That's you. You're not playing any games. You're focused. You've got an intention. You've got a purpose. There's a distorted, I pulled distorted masculine specifically. It says abuse of power, force, domination, fear of weakness, competition driven, inability to praise another. Yeah, unfortunately, I thought this purpose was you. I don't think it is. This is story immaculate. Their whole purpose is to find some kind of evidence on you and expose you. Whether I, I don't know what this is about. They want forgiveness, but they're trying to expose you and they're acting a fool. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. It's a very immature energy we're dealing with here. Yeah. Third party interference, another lover, friend, or meddling family. Someone around them, lover, friend, or family is always under the influence. So they're always under the influence around these people of something, whatever your poison may be. Yeah, so it's hidden from the world that this person's in a mental prison. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness or self-limiting beliefs. With the eighth house. Yeah, this person wants they want out of this mental prison. I feel like you've got some kind of mental disability that's keeping them from moving forward for which they will not seek help because they want to be married to you. You're an earth angel. It says someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind hearted, keeps it real. That's you. Or someone who's married wants to come towards you and be with you. jealous or you're jealous of how someone grew up maybe someone was more comfortable than the other I don't know what this is about yeah this is this person's karma to be jealous of you this is what they get for betraying you yeah and mooching off your time your love your energy and not giving anything back in return this person's a false twin flame who just uses you. They're also somebody that takes shortcuts. A big slacker. Spirit, more messages for Gemini. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the love going. This relationship going, unrequited love. 
Yeah, they want to go away with you on a honeymoon, but you don't love them. They want to take a trip. You don't care. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They want to discuss, honestly discuss their feelings with you. But you are unbothered. You don't care. You don't want it. Spirit, more messages. I'm sorry you didn't imagine it. This person didn't imagine it. You're wondering if they ever really loved you. Like, no, you didn't imagine it. I did love you. That's what I feel on that. We are more like than I admit. Maybe that's why there was so much conflict before. Well, I'm going to leave you on one more card here, Gemini's, from the Moonology Oracle. Spirit. That was quick. We have full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Doesn't that say at all, Capricorn? If you like this video, hit the subscribe. Catch me on my next. Ciao.